Today I'm going to show you the swarm bucket that I made using a five gallon bucket from Lowe's, some bark which was discarded from cut down trees about a year ago, and some freshly melted beeswax. The bucket, I've created a hole in the front as that entrance and exit and all around the bottom the holes are punched in there for air holes so there's good ventilation I'm going to add a little more beeswax to the inside of the bucket and there's plenty of beeswax on the top so we won't have to do that and now I'll add a little to the entrance all around and add some to the bark. Just lift it up a little bit and then drizzle it all around. Make it kind of seem like it's sap. Nice. really want the bees to be attracted to this. I kind of want them to think it's like an old log. So, I think that looks good. And before I set it up, I'm going to give it a shot of Swarm Commander. And there's a wooded area not far from our house where we'll be hanging this. And I think we're going to have good luck with it. Haven't tried it yet, but we'll let you know what happens with it. And I'll give you a closer view of the bucket. There it is. Look at all that beeswax. And all of this bark has been attached to the bucket by using expanding foam. And it really makes it stick well. Uh, I just thought it would be a neat project to try. We've been using swarm buckets like these without the bark. And the bees have been moving into them. We've had two successful uh, colonies move in. And we'll see what happens with this. We'll give you an update. Hopefully in a week or so, it'll be full of bees. Thanks for watching.